Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about HTML essentials and structure. This is our second lesson of the web development course. Um, and so let's get started. Welcome back. So for a quick review of what we did last week, last week we installed VS Code, we made new files and practiced saving them, we've created a workspace for all of our future programs, and finally, we learned about tags, and tags are the fundamentals of HTML code. Today, we're actually going to get into some real code. Open your mypage.html file in VS Code and type in the code as we move along. This will be a lot easier for you to take notes if you needed to, and we're building our website from the ground up. Here are some required tags for every HTML program. The doc type HTML is a statement that you would put at the top of every HTML file in this course. It indicates that the document is an HTML document. It also indicates that this is HTML5 and not any other uh, past HTML types. Um, and this is pretty much the standard. So typing doc type, doc type HTML at the top of our code. You also have to include the HTML tag at the beginning of your program. And that this is the container of all of our HTML code. So we would type the opening tag here and the closing tag here. And all of our um all of our text, all of our content, and all of our tags that we're gonna write is gonna be within these HTML tags. The head and body. The head tags contain all the information about our page, it contains all the metadata, and that's what isn't displayed on the screen. And the body tag contains all the actual content of our page. So, the, so that includes headings, paragraphs, images, videos, the actual content that is displayed on the screen. So what is in the head tag, right? It's not really displayed, so what do we put there? Um, so as we know, the head tag contains information about our web page. For example, we can type in our title tag, and our title would appear here uh, at the tab part of our browser. And we can add it to bring a title or put a title to our HTML file. Now let's add in two more, uh, two more lines of code. Our first line of code is going to be meta char set equals UTF-8. This specifies a certain character set the website is written with which is all possible characters in terms of UTF-8. Let's say um, someone who's in China is writing this and they have to use a different character set because Chinese is a different language and uses different characters. They don't write using the English alphabet. Therefore, you would have to use a different character set. But for now, it's going to be UTF-8. Meta name equals viewport and content equals width equals device width initial scale equals 1.0. So that basically sets our viewport. So width equals device width sets the width of our page to follow the initial width of our computer. While initial scale equals 1.0, that actually sets the initial zoom level. You could set it to 2.0 or 3.0, but that would change um, the zoom level. And we usually just set it as 1.0. That's the standard. Now inside of our body tag, let's learn about what you can put inside of a body tag. So everything that's in the body tag, as we said, is part of our content or what will actually appear on the page, pretty much the visible part. As we learned in last class, we can use the H1 tag for us to type in our heading. There's actually another tag called the P tag that is very commonly used. It's also called the paragraph tag that we can add. So let's see what happens when we type this in. So go ahead and take a minute, pause the video, and type in the H1 tag with my website inside and the P tag with this is my first website in progress. Um, after doing the following, look at the output and see if there's any difference between the content in the H1 tag and the content in the P tag. Do they look different? Do they seem different? As you can see, the my page, the my website header is bold, has big font, and stands out a lot more. The second line, it kind of looks like normal text, 
We use this paragraph tag to write articles, journals, or any information on our website. The heading tag, on the other hand, is for proper headings or titles of websites. Here are some more headings. The, H the H1 tag isn't the only heading. There are many, many more, but we actually don't need all of them. So as you can see here, there's H1, H2, H3, and all the way um, until H6. So H1 indicates that it's the most important. You can see it's the biggest in terms of font size, and H6 is the smallest in terms of font size. Please note that you don't have to use all, um, all six. Most programmers use H1 and H2, maybe even H3, but usually you would never get to H6. This is because you can use, you can change the font size using CSS. So using H6 isn't really necessary. HTML comments. Comments are actually used to help humans understand what the program is doing, but they're not really displayed by the browser. So this is really to help you understand what your code is, because once your HTML programs or HTML files get really long, it's going to be a little bit difficult. So um, to write an HTML comment, you would use the lesson sign and exclamation mark, two dashes. You would write your comment. Um, in this case, it would be, this is my heading. And to close it, we would do two dashes and then the greater than sign. In VS Code, comments will turn green, and oftentimes during um, when you're using a text editor, it will turn a different color. If you refresh your browser, the comments won't really affect anything because, again, the computer can't really read these, and it does not affect the output. So as you can see here, the computer can't read me because it really can't. White space. Extra spacing between lines of code, as you can see here, is ignored. And no extra spacing will appear in the browser. So even though we added like a space between these two tags, it's not going to be displayed. And essentially this and this, like writing it on the same line, prints out exactly the same thing. However, I suggest that you take advantage of, of white space and separate um, your code into different lines um, and even though it produces the same output, the bottom one is a lot easier to read. This may be really hard to read, especially when programs get a lot longer. Indentation. Indentation, I would say, is way more important than white space. Especially in HTML, you're going to have a lot of nested tags, and that can get really confusing without proper indents. Each nested tag, each nested tag should be indented exactly once of its parent tag. For example, if you look at the head tag, the parent element, the HTML tag, is intended exactly once. So you can see the head tag is indented once from the HTML tag, and all of your meta, meta tags would be indented once from the head tag. And whenever something is inside, it should be indented. So this, all of these tags are inside of the head tag, all these head tags, this head tag is inside of the HTML tag. And you can kind of see it like in VS Code, it produces a line here. So you can, it's a lot easier to see the ending tag if you have it on the same indentation. Bold and italics. To make some text bold, we would use the strong tag. And it denotes that something has strong importance. The em tag, on the other hand, is used on text that is emphasized and usually makes it italicized. As shown here, uh, while using the em tag, it changes the font style to italics. While over here, the font weight is changed to bold. Or, yeah, it's bolder. Don't worry for now about making something super bold or less bold. Um, just worry, just um, understand that you could use a strong and EM tag because changing the font weight or the boldness of text is for CSS. Breaks. If you want to create spaces between two paragraphs, you can use the BR tag as shown below. Um, over here, we write BR to create some more space between these two paragraphs. Also, please note um, that you want to use the BR tag sparingly because if you want 
like a lot of space between two two paragraphs don't put like five brs i suggest that you can you can actually accomplish the same thing with css by adding css margins so please don't add five brs if there's just one or two spaces in between you can use one or two brs but please don't use this to use br um, excessively if you want to separate two paragraphs then use the hr tag so it just creates a horizontal line between these two paragraphs as shown here. All right, so let's do some practice. In my page at HTML, write a heading for your website and it could be anything from my life, everything about me, this is really your website. And in another heading tag, add this is my first website in progress. So that's your first assignment. Your second assignment is to create a heading, my dream place and write a sentence about a place that you really want to go to. Make a comment that this is your first section and make the location is in bold. These are your two assignments um, and I suggest that you complete it by next class. If you have any questions, please let us know in the Discord server. And I just want to note that there is actually an HTML template. If you type the exclamation mark, press enter, it generates a whole template for you. So you don't really have to remember all the meta char set equals UTF-8. You don't have to remember meta name equals viewport, width equals device width. Don't remember that. Um, I just suggest doing the exclamation mark and pressing enter. So keyboard shortcuts are very helpful when writing in HTML, and I suggest you use them. All right, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you next time. Bye.